We went overnight from Hull to Zeebrugge on the P&O ferry. Going out the docks is quite bleak. Uh, it's not very really picturesque, but it has to be done. Back towards the Blankenberg Knockheist main road. Turn left, going north up the coast to maintain, uh, to reach the canal, which then takes you down to Bruges. Pedaling alongside the canal is lovely. Cars are banned, cyclists encouraged. Really good bike path. And going into the outskirts of Bruges, there's lots and lots to see. And you have to be pretty careful. Careful not to lose your fillings on the cobbled streets. Lots of cobbles, I don't know why, gee. on the, the sign no entry oh except for bicycles okay but of course as you get nearer the center of the town there are fewer and fewer cars and more and more pedestrians and people stop looking out for where they're going the main square is lovely but it's not pedestrianized but people think that it is so unfortunately you have to be so careful on a bike we found this underground bike park, which was really brilliant. We went out for a couple of hours in Bruges for a look around, and when we came back, we discovered that on the way out of the bike park, there was this little conveyor. You roll your wheel onto the conveyor, hold the brake on, and it takes you up, <laughs> up the slope. You don't even have to push it out. Through the solid oak doors of a bike park, obviously. This is, after all, Belgium. More cobbles, the suburbs. And just to show how bike provision in Belgium is a long established thing, these cycle underpasses are uh, really quite ancient now and showing their age. Oops, steady. Ha! Ah, hello. Miss Smiley and Positive. This is Castle Castile, I beg your pardon, de Oertrike. And there's usually a wedding on on a Saturday morning. There was last time we came by, there was this morning. Good place to stop for a picnic, though. And you carry on heading further south. Lovely sunny day. We seem to be always blessed with sunny days. This was... Was it August? I think we went in July. So it will have been sunny. Then we pedal alongside the Ypres Lee Canal, which is uh, northwest of Ypres, and uh, followed it down all the way into the town centre. We walked along the walls from our accommodation to the Menin Gate, just in time for the evening ceremony, which happens every night at 8 o'clock sharp. marching bands and buglers and various military, military-esque groups all over Europe put their name down to come and lead the parade and come and play the last post in the Menin Gate. We came back later in the evening and had a look round when all the crowds had gone, the thousands and thousands, 54,000 odd in fact, names of British and Commonwealth soldiers the Menin Gate was actually too small when they'd finished it to get all of the names that they needed to get on it. In a
In the morning we pedalled out through a portal in the city wall, crossed the moat, up outside the wall and we came across the Minin Gate again on the outside of the town before going out cross country towards our next stop. Every end and turn there seems to be yet another uh, regimental memorial, national memorial from all the thousands of people who died. We came to Passchendaele. This is Tynecott Cemetery. Difficult to be upbeat about this sort of thing. Tynecott was named by the Northumbrian Brigade because the the German pillboxes look so much like Tainside Cottages Lake. There are three pillboxes in the Tynecott Cemetery. German pillboxes. We carried on to our next destination then, which was Ghent, but unfortunately I fell off my bike and sort of lost interest in filming. So thanks for watching. Hope it helped.